Hey everybody, this is Adam from Tyrant CNC. Today we're going to show you how to install an extended slide lever for a SIG P365. Right in front of us we have a SIG Sauer P365 XL, but our extended slide lever will work for all the P365 variants, whether it's the SAS, the Macro, the P365 Standard, or the XL in front of us. Let's get started. The first thing we want to do when we install our extended slide lever is always make sure the firearm we're working on is unloaded. We already have the magazine removed. We'll get that out of frame. And then we just want to rack our slide open and we can visually and manually feel our gun is not loaded. Now to continue installing the extended slide lever, what we want to do is field strip the slide off of the frame. So to do that, we're going to flip our takedown lever down you can release the slide forward, and then at this point you can simply pull. You do not need to pull the trigger on SIGs in order to remove the slide assembly. This we no longer need at the moment, we'll set it aside. Then the next thing we want to do is get our FCU, the SIG Sauer Fire Control Unit, out of the frame of our handgun. In order to do that, we need to knock out this roll pin by simply pushing it out or even with the assistance of a hammer driving this roll pin out. Then once we have our FCU out we continue with our assembly and disassembly. So let's see how stiff the pin is on my personal gun. Looks like not too stiff thankfully. Might need to give it just a little bit more assistance to drive this out. And there it just squirted out. So we have the rear frame pin of my SIG P365XL out. We don't want to lose that. We're going to leave that on the mat here so we can keep eyes on it. Then we want to lift out the FCU. Sometimes you can pry it out. I don't have great fingernails. So you can just use like a little tool to help push, pry, lift your FCU out of the frame of your pistol. Now for the time being, we don't need the frame. We're going to be working entirely on the FCU, so this we'll set aside as well. Now that we have our FCU, the Six Hour Fire Control Unit out, what we're working on is this right here. This is the factory slide lever. And what's retaining this in is you have a small spherical post here that's in the FCU. And then you also have, this is difficult to see, hopefully you guys at home can see this, you have a small pin that's holding this down in place and it's applying pressure. So what we want to do is lift this out of the frame but we don't want this to explode or burp on us. So what we want to do is we're going to push and drive our slide lever towards what would be the front of the pistol or the trigger and then we're going to hinge and wiggle it out. So let's try that now. We want to push, wiggle, push, and now we have our slide lever out. Now you can more clearly see this is the pin that's applying pressure on our slide levers. There's also a little small channel or trough here that's sitting in. I'm going to push that back in its place. So now to put in our new enhanced one from Tyron CNC, what we want to do is with either a punch or a flathead I think will work better, we're going to lift and push this spring out of the way and then on the back side of our extended slide lever, we're going to get that underneath this. So right now, I'm going to lift this up as we take this piece and put it in underneath. Then, once this is in place, we're kind of jumping ahead speaking, but this small spherical post, we want to put in that little pocket there. So now we're going to lift this spring up and try and get that in there. I think we did. Now we're going to wiggle and we need to get our small spherical post in place. And I think we're close. We just need to wiggle and push that into place a little bit better. I can feel spring tension. It's wiggling. It's good. All good things. And it looks like that is in place. So there you have it. We have our extended slide lever installed into our Sig Sauer P365 FCU fire control unit. 
and this now needs to go back into the frame of our gun. So we're going to work backwards. Bring our frame back over here and all you have to do is put the trigger in through this hole of your frame. Make sure our little takedown lever still stays vertical. And now we want to put our frame pin back in as well. We drove it out left to right, so from this side to this side. So to reintroduce that pin, we want to do the opposite, right to left. So I'm going to manually push this in. We'll see how far we get. Just use my little driver. We pushed, pop that in. Now that's in. Now to make sure that we have proper engagement, positive manipulation of this new piece we installed in our gun, we're going to put the slide back on because we want to be able to test it with a magazine. Grab our slide over here. This should just slide right back on. I'm locking the slide open so that's one positive test for extended slide lever. We're going to flip our takedown lever to a horizontal position where it naturally is while we're shooting. The slide lever fell out of the way because there's no magazine in the gun. That's another positive test. Slide stayed on. That's positive as well. Finally insert a magazine. And when we rack our slide rearward, positive pressure from the magazine should drive that up to lock our gun open. Which it did. So you have your Tyrant CNC enhanced extended slide lever perfectly installed. So there you have it guys, we took our Tyrant CNC extended slide lever and we easily installed it in the Sig Sauer P365 XL. And again, this extended slide lever will work in all the P365 variants. So if you ever have any questions or if you ever need any components for different firearms, make sure to check out TyrantCNC.com. That's www.tyrantcnc.com.